Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Bugs, and today, guys, I'm gonna be talking about the HCS, the Halo Championship Series. And before I even get into the video for people to click off already, Halo Infinite Esports will be open for everyone. Yes, you heard it here first. Be open for everyone, but let's go down the list one by one as a team. Let's get into it, guys. <laughs> so excited, man! So excited. Now, the first thing we need to know is that the competing regions would be North America, US, China, Puerto Rico, and all that, Mexico, European, Australia, and New Zealand. Um, the prize pool will be over 3 million. That's not even including the crown funding that we can get with like skins and stuff, as you can see with the org skins that they have and people that want to put in you know, their own money or whatever that they buy that increases the prize pool um, into the future. Uh, we're gonna have twitch drops and stuff, which would be pretty cool and I have a handbook, you know rules and stuff that we got to get into um, And then we're gonna have eight in-person events across all four regions for the halo world championship in Seattle next year Yeah, I know it's a long way, but at least you know you have time if you're like someone new like myself that um, is just now getting into halo now, The first thing we're gonna go into is the global tournament operation Pretty much just telling us the lands and stuff where it's gonna be. So DreamHack will be Europe. Uh, Mexico is gonna have game partners, and Australia is gonna have e e e e ESL. Sorry, like online talking. All right. Um, they're online people. Yes, there will be online qualifications, and it looks like they're gonna use it by face off. Now, if you don't know what face off is, face off is what I would like to call a rank plus. People in CS:GO use it. Apparently, it's also in Valorant. And this is just like a, a harder version of rank because it's like the sweaty players that are looking for another nudge or to consistently play against other sweaty players because if you're not a sweaty player, you usually don't know what this is. And there are sweaty players that don't know what this is, but this is this is for the people that want to take um, competitions and competitive seriously, you know, have a nice record and stuff based off of like actual teammates, you know, you calm and all that stuff. And not only that, it looks like they're going to be using this for their online competition. So you're going to need to want to have a face face it. Uh, I don't know what the requirements are to be able to um, sign up for the online qualification, but basically it's, like it's going to be one of the um, factors that you're going to have to start playing to be even considered to be an online qualification to proceed into, you know, the championship series and all that. Broadcasting, amazing. They're going to have that all set up. Phenomenal. Oof, can't wait. Switch drops are going to be lit when it comes off. And yeah, looks like um, ACS is actually kicking off December 17th to the 19th. Signups are actually happening tomorrow, guys, for the first ever online event, so that's going to be pretty dope. I'll try to put that in the description whenever it pops up, but I will have this um, article in my description if you just go ahead and read it on by yourself. Um, and I guess I'm just skimming through it, you know, just telling you the main, like, the summary of each part of it. So, um, you know, if you want to do the full depth reading by yourself, you can go right ahead, right into it. Um, format overall, like I said, here we go. It's going to have its online which will be placed off of face it format like i just said the pro series obviously the pros that are from old um halos you know get that i guess you could say that that one up on everybody that they just gotta face other people that they've already been playing for years and then go at it and then it looks like we have a super regional which will be events that only we have to face against our own regions because i believe major and stuff you have to face people based off of ping from far distance in some events but um, like the majors and stuff will be only your region, and that's how you will qualify and you know, proceed and proceed. Um, looks like this will be like the designation when it comes to pros, semi pros, amateur, elite, and amateur. How it's gonna be from every region. Um, here's our beautiful roadmap. If you haven't seen it already, hopefully it's a better like view of it. Yeah, it's a better view of it. This is how it is. If you know how to read these type of maps, and there you go. This is exactly how it is. For me, I don't. How to read this i was very confused but you know these are like pretty much i would say like the lands you know the lands of where you go to um, compete and stuff if you qualify through the online or you just have to go there and then top x teams compete and then gets pushed up but yeah um also has the dates of every single one when you are your roster is locked you know even when you sign up and stuff where you can't, um, I guess you say, you know, switch teammates and stuff. Like, you have to lock in your team and, like, practice. And, you know, there's no BS like other games where you could just swap out somebody just because. So, that's pretty cool and stuff. Here's all the dates for you. 
also for Europe, Mexico, I think Australia, right? Yeah, and New Zealand. Yeah, just pause it if you have to to see any of the dates or take a screenshot. Right, like I said, this article will be in the description for you. Handbook, you know, the rules and all that stuff. But now the pricing, <laughs> the amazing pricing. It looks like a quarter million will be for majors and the supers and regionals will be about 125,000. Um, for NA, 100k for Europe and for Mexico, 50,000. And then World, um, Halo World Champion will be for a uh, million bucks. Like I said, that is not the limit. This is before crowdfunding. So imagine if crowdfunding gets crazy like Dota and stuff. That will be insane for Halo, especially all the OGs and stuff that love this game. But yeah, um, and these apparently are the caps, even with um, world funding, so it doesn't go too chaotic, I guess. And they, and I believe they could just use that money over and over in other tournaments into the future to keep the game and the series continuing on. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And then this just shows the maps and the modes. You should know this if you've been playing. You know, these are the same thing that we get in rank. I hope a lot of things change about this. This is just me being stingy. Because I love Slayer, but at the same time I don't like Slayer. And I know it's been an OG like competitive map or a competitive game mode in Halo, but like what other game, you know, uses TDM as a competitive game mode? And I get it, I get it with Halo, you know, it's their own thing. They shouldn't change it up, but just in my opinion, it's very how do I say campy, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's it's weird to me, but you know, I just I get used to it. Um, and then it looks, this is look like this is going to be the format when it comes to um, competing. It looks like they're going to put um, objective game modes over um, TDM or, you know, Slayer game mode. You always play more objective versus um, TDM um, for any best of rotations and stuff. And yeah, as you can see, and it looks like you shouldn't be overplaying this game. Pretty much you get to play every um, game mode if it's um, a best of five. Well, that's pretty nice you know everyone gets to show their factors and their strengths so the best factor you really want is to be better than your opponent by three game modes minimum you know um and then like i said this i can't wait for this to grow i can't wait to see the new teams and orgs that get into it that this jumps up to maybe like 20 or 32 teams or something that would be so phenomenal but as of right now i believe it's only nine which is a pretty good start and i i feel like this is gonna grow a lot man like uh, don't get me wrong, I understand um, from Org's perspective and, you know, player's perspective, like, obviously you're going to take players that have been grinding Halo since, till this day, but I, I promise you there's going to be a lot of new talents that's going to surprise a lot of people or, like, take out the, the top heads. I could be wrong, though, you know, I'm just, who am I? I'm just a random, you know, just now starting Halo, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how this, uh, you know, the series goes. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, if you want to watch or you want to read this by yourself and actually skim through it properly by yourself, the uh, link will be in the description. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment about anything. Comment if I miss anything. Comment if there's side tournaments that I don't know about that I should start posting. You know, letting people know. You know, informing them or even putting on my Twitter. Also, if you're for a time whenever watching one of my videos, don't forget to subscribe button if you want to know anything about Halo content, news, competitive um, scene. I will be posting all of that here on this channel. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got a 9 to 5 on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find balance